Hey there YouTube, working on the patches, said I might make a video and I decided I may as well while I have the chance. Um, just putting this door back on after taking it off, took it off because I was going to try and make a patch for it, but time is cutting me short here. So right there's the patch that might have went in it, oh, it's a little thick, thicker, I think I need to find some thinner metal, because I want to put it on the inside, not on the back. So, yeah, that would look kind of weird, and it doesn't fit really on the ones inside, so. It isn't cut down or any of that yet, so I'd have to either cut down or um, find thinner stuff is what I'm thinking. Something about as thin as this or something like that, just to fix it. So these are the patches that were in it, and they're not welded in, but they were just sitting in there. I'm just going to put them back in, too, or for, until I get the chance to fix them and time to do it too. Both of them got a hole in them. I don't know why. Or I mean I know why but it sat inside most of its life and I bet had a leaky roof so these holes are pretty bad compared to other combines I've seen. I don't know. Some stuff shows it that it sat outside and other stuff. So, so yeah just tightening up on the bolts because I took it off. This one's bolt on, I don't know why. This farmer's the same on his. And this one is a sp oh, let me get it here. Maybe not. It is a spot weld. Having some trouble here with the camera. Spot welds. I don't know if it was a change. Problem with the combine and the door. So I don't know if they had to change it or what not. But they decided that they're gonna make it bolt. I don't know. I guess it would been. It was nice because I could take it off to measure and do all that stuff without being on the ground. But the other one, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I don't think I'm gonna take it off when I repair it. So I don't think. I'll be able to get it off without wrecking something on the other spot welded one. So, I just think we're going to have to weld it while we're laying here, which I've been told not to do many times and over and over again. Yeah, that would probably start spinning. So, yeah, just putting it on. Probably all spinning. But, and the one's tight. Yeah, this one's spinning. This one's probably not. Um, so now let's just put the patches in, I guess. Uh, forget which one goes where, so. So this one. Kind of went like this. Something like that. There. There we go. It's a fit. So that one we can put on next, and this one's the next one. Uh, I'll tighten them up, tighten the bolts up in a little bit, but they seem to be, this one's tight, this one's moving. So yeah, pretty much tight on this one. Uh, and then I'll put that patch in. Uh, I'll show you the patch I'm planning on putting under that for the rest holes. That patch was originally went all the way around the screen cleaner to block that bottom hole. There's a hole in that bottom auger part right there, the new metal where that is. There's a hole in that and they ran one all the way around the whole thing for some dang reason. So I don't know why they did that either. Probably because it was a tight space, they didn't want to take it apart to do anything like that. So, so this is my plan, cut this down. Because I'm not going to use it for anything. Cut down to size and pretty big. You can see it'll cover all the rest of for now. And then bolt it back together like they had it, I guess. Maybe different bolts than they had, but bolts and nuts and then that'll be done. Otherwise, then hopefully we combine in this weekend. So maybe not. Get a chance to rain again. 20% chance. Uh, 
just had a frost, so that's good. Beans are dead anyways, but it doesn't help that we had like again. So yeah. Also, while I was working up inside of here, make sure it's the right, yeah, you can't see that. The right screen or sieve or whatever you want to call it. Make sure it was set right for beans, because that's what I'm planning on harvesting with this. Uh, can't seem to find any grease cirques for these straw walkers. So, I'm guessing there's not. As I've seen in Deuce's farm, he didn't have any either, so. And then, it's all greased up and ready to go, and then, hopefully, planning on using it for this non-breakdown, non so. Well. That'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching.